The Lord will rescue you from every evil attack and bring you safely to his heavenly kingdom. So, so Daniel here, he's getting filled up, he's getting filled up, he's getting filled up, he's getting filled up, he's getting filled up. His, uh, his haters, his friends, they show up, and in verse number 11, uh, they show up as a group, punks, they show up as a group, and they're like, hey, we see you praying, ha, 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 caught you, caught you praying. Yeah, I'm praying. We caught you praying. We're snitching on you. And the next verses, they go down, and they go, and they snitch on them, okay? And you know what happens to snitches. <laughs> they get them. Yeah, they get them. So these, these snitches, these terrible co-workers, uh, they go, and they tell the king, hey, king, your favorite employee, you know, the one that you love so much, the one you wanted to promote over us, though I've been here longer, that, that, that guy... He was praying to someone, not you. You got to kill him. The king is not happy about this because no boss wants to lose a great employee. So he just has to figure out a way out of it. He can't find any way out of it. He already put his ring on it. So verse number 16, look at this. Verse number 16 of chapter 6. I think I'm verse 16. So the king had to, had to finally give the order. And they brought Daniel and they did not place him in the lion's den. They threw him into the lion's den. Then the king said to Daniel, may your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. The king doesn't know what's going to happen. So they throw him into the lion's den. He ends up in the lion's den not because he did anything wrong but because he was doing something right. If you find yourself in a lion's den right now, it may not be because you did anything wrong. It very well could be because you've been doing everything right. And if you're a follower of God for any period of time, if you surrendered your heart and your life to Jesus Christ, if you receive the forgiveness of your sins and you've surrendered your way, your will to him, at some point in time, you will end up in a lion's den. And it probably won't be your fault. This even happened to the Apostle Paul. Look, I'm going to show you this verse in, uh, in 2 Timothy. Uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter number uh, 4. 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4. Look, 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 at this, look at this verse. He's writing and he says, But the Lord stood at my side... And gave me strength. He was at my side and he gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will, not might, the Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Here is the Apostle Paul, and he's writing, yeah, I've been through, beep, I've been through it. I'm in it right now, but while I was in it, the Lord was right there by my side, and he was giving me strength. You don't need strength if you're not in a spot where you need strength. You need strength because you're in a spot where you don't have the strength that you need to stand, but the Lord was right there by his side that entire time and delivered him from the lion's mouth, and he says, the Lord will rescue you from every evil attack, and I speak that over every single one of you. The Lord will rescue you, not might, but he will rescue you from every evil attack, every financial attack, every emotional attack, every attack on your family, every attack on your present, every attack on your future, every attack on your body. The Lord will rescue you from every evil attack and bring you safely to his heavenly kingdom. So King goes back. He's home. He can't sleep. He can't sleep. He can't, he, he can't sleep. He's, he, he's pacing. Pacing all night. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. 
doesn't want to lose Daniel. Can't sleep. So, uh, so he's tossing and turning all night. Took some melatonin, didn't work. Took some whiskey, didn't work. He's doing everything he can. No, nothing. Nothing is helping him sleep. So uh, verse 19, it says, At the first light of dawn, the king got up, and he hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel. Now Daniel's in this den, and we know he's not supposed to be there. He can ask the question, why God, why God, why God, why God, why God? He doesn't ask that. We don't see him asking that question. But now the king is running towards the lion's den. The stone has been foot put in front of it. He's been stuck there all night. The king runs to Daniel, and in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, has he been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel, Verse 21 says, Daniel answered. Daniel answered. Daniel answered. answered he's still in the lion's den but he's able to answer so did God bring you through the question is not why did God put me here the question is can you still answer because if you can still answer, if you can still answer, then God has stood by your side and he has been a strength to you. Divorce, lion's dead. Can you still answer? Bankruptcy, lion's dead. Can you still answer? Gravesite, burying someone you care about. Can you still answer? Bills piling up. And you're not sure which way is even up. Can you still answer? Because if you can answer, it's fact and it's proof that God carried you. <laughs> because, because, because what, what you went into was supposed to kill you. You don't come out of lion's dens. You don't come out on the other side of what you've walked through. So if you can still answer, it's proof positive that God has stood by your side and he's rescued you from every evil attack. I, uh, cool thing is, or maybe it's not cool, I don't know, but those other guys got thrown into the den. 
And God did not rescue them from every evil attack. <laughs> Killed every last one of them jokers. <laughs> but not you. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> 